Hey everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me here on the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. So something today that's gonna to be very, I guess, a kind of unique and different uh, from ASW Distillery out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, this is what they're calling the Georgia Heartwood. Um, this is gonna be a cast strength, uh, single barreled uh, bourbon that they finish with charred oak staves. So again, something somewhat similar to what Maker's Mark does um, you know, where they add the staves right to the barrels to kind of introduce uh, a little bit more of that, that kind of char or mellowing uh, aspect to it. So again, this is the Georgia Heartwood uh, single barrel cast strength uh, bourbon. Uh, this is coming in at 115.2 proof or 57.6% uh, ABV. Mash bill on this one is undisclosed age stated there is no age statement on it and the msrp on this is right around that 75 dollar uh, price point so this is one i've been really looking forward to doing a review of and getting it out there uh, i've had it prior to this um, a friend of mine uh, will henderson who lives down in in georgia uh, had this and introduced it to me and uh, one night kind of uh, talked to the distillery. I was very, very excited to, to be doing a, uh, a review of this. So why don't we kind of go ahead and get into the, uh, into the review and uh, uh, we'll see what this one is uh, all about. So color wise, you can see on this really nice kind of rich, like deep, almost mahogany type of, of color. Uh, very, very nice color to that. Deep, dark, rich copper. Uh, type of note. And then a couple of things. I'm going to move the whiskey around in the glass a little bit, introduce some air to it. I always think air helps, you know, most bourbons for the most part. Uh, and then you get, you know, the idea of how oily it is. Now this one, the whiskey does seem to be clinging to the glass uh, fairly well, not running super fast or anything. So it's, uh, it is showing some, some nice uh, oily characteristics to it. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into the review and, uh, see what the uh the nose has to offer here oh man so like right away like my first impression is like fall in a glass Ah, oh, there's that like cinnamon that nutmeg how oh, the brown sugar really nice kind of rich um oak presence that there ah oh, rich caramel note uh, a green apple aspect to it. So there's a little bit of like a, a tartness that's there. Um, and then some of this like a toasted aspect. So this is probably where the, the charred staves are gonna start to kind of come into play here a little bit. So you get that kind of like toasted aspect, even a bit of like a, a marshmallow. So like it's borderline campfire-y. It's just not super heavy on the smoke so far but a really nice kind of like toasted aspect with that marshmallow that's there. Uh, maybe as I was kind of talking there, maybe there's a touch of smoke, not a, not a ton of it by any means. Really nice butterscotch aspect. A uh, slight bit of like nuttiness. Um, nice kind of like sweet, like uh, like honey and graham cracker. Ah. Uh. And even a little bit of like kind of um, a zestiness, more of like a, an orange zest than anything. Yeah, really, a really nice, um, you know, rich nose that's there to it. Um, you know, what I would say is a lot of that, that toasted aspect, you know, those staves that get placed in these barrels has such a big influence on the overall, you know, profile of the whiskey. It's something that I, I'm a big fan of what, you know, when companies do do things like that it's you know a bit of a double barreling process however it just with staves so it's kind of a similar process um, but you know this is introducing you know direct contact with the full the full stave so it's interacting with the whiskey and and pulling out all these different characteristics you know in it so it is a it is an interesting um, you know kind of concept nothing that's super new or anything like that but um, I like what it does, you know, overall to the whiskey. Yeah, really nice kind of like even some some chocolate aspect that's there to it as well. That marshmallow kind of continues to to linger. A really nice a really nice nose that's there. And just having it a little bit in front of me, a lot of that kind of butterscotch and that nutmeg and cinnamon 
continue to really kind of come off of this one. So a lot going on on the nose. All right, more importantly, let's, uh, let's see how this one uh, tastes. Cheers. So right away, like I got on the nose, there's this toasted marshmallow aspect, like immediately followed very quickly by some of the creamy caramels, a uh, little bit of that kind of um, green apple. So you've got kind of the combo of the green apple and the and the caramel. So you get a little bit of the tartness from from the green apple with the sweetness of the of the caramel that's there. Nice milk chocolate aspect to it. And again, this is more of that creamy milk chocolate uh, type of, of aspect to it. Just a hint of smoke that's there as well. Great baking spices on this. Yeah, those spices just kind of continue to linger there. Nice vanilla note. And the oak that's here, um, it's a little bit combo of that like kind of rich oak with a little bit of that like the smokiness that's there, you know, from the from the staves that are placed in there. So you get kind of that combo that's there. It's not super dominant on the smoke by any means but you do pick up some of what that stave is actually doing, you know, in the, in the whiskey. Slight bit of dryness that's there. So this is kind of for me where you start to pull out some of the, the leathers, things along those lines when that dryness begins to, um, to happen. Or if you smell like leather, I mean, not that many people taste leather, but if what you smell, you can kind of taste, it's, it's something very, very similar to that. And again, some of that, that orange zest kind of continues to linger as well a little bit. Definitely that marshmallow, that chocolate aspect, that orange zest, touch of smoke that's there. Nice, rich, like kind of oak presence that's there. Those nice baking spices, again, you get a lot of like the cinnamon, the nutmegs, things along those lines. It really has an awful lot going. And this will be, I think, uh, another brand, another whiskey specifically to kind of keep an eye on and watch, you know, what it is that they're doing. Because, I mean, this is already just kind of a, you know, a really nice, well put together, you know, whiskey coming from a, a distillery that's not one of the the big boys out of you know Kentucky or MGP or something along those lines. So there are an awful lot of, of great companies out there that are really producing some some fine whiskeys, and this is just another another example of that. So you know, kudos to them for for really doing a, a nice job with this. You know, I'd say finish wise, you know, you're probably all of all of medium, you know, maybe on the the shorter side of long, so kind of medium, long, medium plus, you know, and again, you still have all of those, that toasted marshmallow, a little bit of that like light smoke that's there, the chocolate aspect, that creamy caramel note, the baking spices. So it's like a lot of those like kind of fall spices, the nutmegs, the cinnamons, you know, things along those lines, you know, touch of butterscotch is there. A really nice, well, well put together um, cast strength bourbon. So I think they've done a an absolutely fantastic job with with this one. I believe this is if you're not in the Atlanta, Georgia area where they're based out of. I believe this is um, a a brand that you can also go over to uh, Sealbox.com. And, and buy from, from there. So go check them out. I think they've got some distribution to you know a lot of other states. So if this is something that sounds interesting to you, you know, head over there. I'll, I'll try to put the link in the description below for the seal box 
uh, in the event that you want to um, you know take a take a look at this one so again I think they've done a, a really really nice job so again from ASW distilling out of Atlanta Georgia uh, this is what they're calling their their Georgia Heartwood uh, single barrel uh, cast strength and again they're introducing you know charred oak staves you know into the barrels to kind of create that that stave to you know to you know bourbon aspect you know kind of similar to what what makers does uh with with their stuff so uh more importantly you know if this is something that you've had you know let me know your thoughts you know leave a comment it's always important not only for me but anybody watching the video after that if somebody comments and and they enjoyed it or, or whatever it may be, um, you know, leave a comment below. Uh, it's very, very important just to, to kind of create some of the dialogue and allow other people to, you know, uh, you know read what it is that, that other people were experiencing. So that's, that's one thing I, I always appreciate when people do uh, leave comments. So uh, also, if you'd like to uh, follow me, you can on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, uh, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below. And again, remember, you know, as always, thank you so much for tuning into another one of my reviews. I greatly appreciate uh, everyone watching and your support. And remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.